Hey, what up everybody? This is Steven Breach coming to you. A little bit surprised by this because uh, I, this game snuck up on me. Honestly, I thought that the uh, Broncos and 49ers game was going to be a Sunday game, but this is a late Saturday game. Um, preseason, week number three, this is one of the games where honestly um, the teams are going to go out there and play their best for probably about half the game. This is probably the point of the most influential games there is to seeing who's going to be one of the main players on the team. Um, you know, week four is more about guys, you know, trying to hang on to that last wide receiver spot, trying to hang on to that last safety spot. A lot of the, like, the last few roster spots will be filled, but this is the game where the first team offense, the first team defense are going to be really out there, really gluing together and playing together to see what's going on. For week three, uh, the Niners have been practicing in Denver since Tuesday. They've had two scrimmages against the um, against the Broncos where they've uh, scrimmaged up, and tonight they're actually going to get on the field at mile high and actually see what they can do uh, against each other. If you think about the last two times uh, the Niners have played the Broncos, honestly, it's been ugly. If you think about the game that happened in late August of last year during the preseason, the Broncos killed us. Uh, we weren't even in the game uh, at kickoff, it seemed like. Uh, I can't remember how many they, they put up. They put up 55 or they put whatever, but the Niners could not get anything going um, no matter what team they were playing against against the Broncos. I think if they would have put in the guys holding the clipboards, the guys that filled the Gatorade, the Niners still weren't able to play that day, but uh, you go to the regular season game that we played in October in Denver. Peyton Manning broke the NFL touchdown record, throwing re record number 509. Uh, the Broncos put 42 points up the, the, that day. We we lost 42 to 17. A very ugly game. I believe it was either a Sunday night or it was a Monday night game. It was one of the nights. Um, when the things really started to fall off the tracks for the 49ers and that horrible season um, that we had last year. Uh, the Niners just couldn't get anything going offensively, and I'm hoping that this year is going to be a little bit better. Um, you know, the things to really look forward to is uh, that uh, this year Peyton Manning will be playing in the preseason. Um, he's probably going to be taken out sometime in the second quarter, but, you know, for guys like Tremaine Brock, um, it's going to be good for him to see action against Peyton Manning and uh, see how this 49er defense is going to be, be going. Um, if you think about the defense, um, Bowman uh, was limited to only playing on five snaps last uh, last game. He did receive a couple of tackles, um, so uh, no word on how much he is going to play, but just having number 53 out there on the field is going to be a big thumbs up for the San Francisco 49ers and seeing what we can be doing to, to move forward. The offensive line is is a big thing that people are going to be looking at this year, of course, with uh, guys leaving, guys retiring. Uh, Joe Stanley has a hard job of getting that team um, you know, up uh, up to pace and, and seeing what the offensive line is going to be able, able to do to help our running game and help Kaepernick have time to, to hold the ball and be able to, to throw the ball to our receivers. Um, Stanley's going to be up there, you know, if you think about the Broncos defensive line of Von Miller and Marcus Ware, um, you know, they have, um, some stiff competition against them this week. This is going to be one of the weeks, to, uh, to really see, um, what this offensive line is going to be doing to be able to hold people back. Um, you think about the, uh, the wide receivers that are going to be out there for Kaepernick to throw to. Um, we do know that Antoine Bolden and Smith are going to be the number one and number two. Patton, Ellington, and Demarcus White are going to be playing to see who's this, uh, the number three. Um, so, you know, they're probably going to be uh, good to see who Kaepernick is throwing the ball to, who he has the connection with. The last two weeks, even though the Kaepernick's only been able to be out there for a, a short time, I believe he's only played three series in the last two games. Torrey Smith and him have always uh, uh, been close to, to finding a connection um, for a touchdown in these last two games. So maybe they can get that done. Uh, for the 49ers, Reggie Bush and Kendall Hunter are going to be seeing their first uh um, sites of the preseason. Uh, Kendall Hunter has been out uh, since 2014 with an ACL tear. Reggie Bush um, has just been uh, sort of like the veteran guy not having to dress for the games the last few weeks. So it's going to be good to see what he's going to be go doing good out there. But honestly, at this point, um, I don't think Reggie Bush is going to be adding a whole lot uh, to the 49ers. Maybe he has one good game throughout the year, but if we're really depending on Reggie Bush to getting the job done to helping us uh, you know, get these games done, we're in trouble. Um, Carlos Hyde is going to be our number one guy. He's probably going to get the ball a little bit, but, uh, Jared Hayne, 
has been the one guy to really steal all of the attention um, this uh, this offseason. He's leading um, the league in uh, preseason rushing yards at 117. He's returned uh, five kicks for about 108 yards, a 21.6 yard average. Um, and uh, this guy's been nothing but living up to the hype of, of being able to come in. People thought, you know, for him transitioning um, as a rookie uh, from playing rugby and going into the NFL, it was going to be a long um, sort of way of learning the game. Uh, after uh, last week's uh, preseason game, the coach did say that there was things that a lot of people aren't picking up on. He is breaking free and he's rushing for a lot of yards, but as of right now, he's a little bit dependable in the backfield um, because he, he he needs to learn how to pick up blocks and be able to ha- be able to help Kaepernick in the backfield. You can't just have this guy out there, or people are going to know every time that he runs out there. More than likely, he's going to be getting the ball. It's some sort of running play because um, he's just a liability out there. If you think about uh, Lawrence Phillips uh, for the 49ers, uh, you know he came in. And uh, he missed uh, the block that ended Steve Young's career. And uh, I'm sure the Niners don't want to put that on Jaron Hain. But um, Hyde's going to be out there. Uh, you got Bush, you got Hunter, um, you got Haynes. So maybe Haynes and I'm going to be seeing a lot of action this game. But uh, it's good to have him on the team. I know it's the one thing that people always ask about. So we'll see what gets the job done this week. You know, we're not looking for a must-see victory. This is preseason, but uh, seeing some good things that we can work on. Last week, we got the win, uh, but we didn't score any offensive touchdowns. Um, I believe we got one by punt return and one by interception. So um, let's see if we can put some points on the board today.